body, body, bodies. We've all got bodies and sometimes it can be really challenging to dress because finding garments that flatter our figure and make us look proportional can be challenging. Now, why do we wanna look proportional? We wanna look like we have a nice proportional body because that is the ideal. It goes back to human nature. Uh, you know, women with nice voluptuous curves look like they can have babies. It's like this whole shebang bang. Problem is we don't all have that body. Sometimes we carry our weight on the bottom, sometimes the top, sometimes the middle. Sometimes we have no curves at all. A very small percentage of women actually have that perfect proportionate figure that goes back to the hunting and gathering times uh, that I so eloquently described. Not really. But the point is we want to get to that hourglass figure and we can do it with clothing. Now what we're going to talk about today is women who are bigger on the bottom. And I would like to say this first. There is no problem with having a big booty or big boobs or even a big stomach. Sometimes women love that area of their body and do want to show it off. So it's not about hiding. It's about making us look as great as we possibly can. Because even if we want to highlight that area, if we don't dress it right, it makes the rest of our body look a little bit off. So you can still embrace different areas of your body while dressing in the most flattering way possible. So I just want to say that before y'all start popping off on the comments section. There ain't nothing wrong with booty, because that's what we're talking about today. Women who have bigger bottom halves. So this could be booty, this could be hips, heck, this could even be thighs. So bigger on the bottom. Some of your celebrity body doubles would be Beyonce, Kim Kardashian, uh, Jennifer Lopez, booty for days. But if you notice, if you look at their, their photographs, they're still highlighting that area, but they still look very proportionate. So look to your style body doubles to see the types of garments that they're choosing, and that will help you choose great garments for your body as well. So what do we wear if we have this figure? Let's head on over to my little friend here. Finding garments that have exaggerated shoulders are great for you. Why? Because this helps to balance out the bottom half, therefore making your waist look teeny tiny and awesome. Because who doesn't want a little bitty waist? It helps with that whole hourglass proportional phenomenon that we're going for here. So something with a shoulder pad with an exaggerated shoulder like this dress here will really help balance you out. You will notice that Kim Kardashian, Beyonce do this all the time. Their jackets always have some sort of shoulder embellishment or exaggeration happening because they know that best flatters their figure. So look for that. Other tips, going for pants that have a wider leg. Ladies, you're gonna love the new trends coming out because we're, we're walking away from the skinny silhouette and we're working into flares, wider legs. These are great for your body type. When you wear skinny jeans, which, you know, rock it out. If you wanna wear them, rock it. But it really over exaggerates your hip and butt area and it's not always the most flattering thing. So going for something that's a little bit wider leg is great for you. Also on the bottom half, you wanna wear solid colors. You wanna wear darker colors. This is going to camouflage and minimize your problem area if you consider it to be a problem for you. So no wild prints, no crazy colors. These navy wide leg pants would be great. Now on top, this is where you can have fun with color and pattern. So a nice little stripy top, nice open neckline. This is going to draw attention to the top half of your body. That's where you're smaller. We can have some fun 
and we're going to minimize the bottom half. So this would be, you know, a great outfit to try to mimic in your own life and wardrobe. Another example, we get into skirts. Great silhouette for you are A-line skirts, skirts that kind of flounce over the larger half of your body. Why? Because it's not hugging that area. You'll find that a lot of pencil skirts, things that fit along your waist, because your waist is very small, they'll tend to pull and pucker right in this area here because they're trying to accommodate for that bootay. Now, a skirt like this is great because it still highlights your waist, but it just kind of flutters over your larger hips and butt. Now on top, you would want to wear something printed, something fun that draws attention to the top half. Bonus points if it's something long that you can tuck in because it will really highlight your small waist. So, dark colors on the bottom, fun, exciting prints up top, exaggerated shoulders, v-necks are great, and anything that highlights your waist. So belts, single button jackets, we want to show the waist and we want to fill up the top half of that hourglass because the bottom half is already filled with booty, right? So those are a few tips that you can apply to your personal style. If you want more tips, download my book how to dress right for your body type. It's filled with inspiration, tips, you know, some outfits, your celebrity doubles, and guess what? It's free. Yes, I want you to have it for free. So download it, give it a read, take those tips, and use them because dressing properly for your body is one step closer to feeling amazing in your clothes. And when you feel amazing, you know that all sorts of other awesome stuff happens. So give it a download, give it a read, try these tips, and let me know how they go. Maybe you have a tip that I don't even know about that helps flatter your figure. Leave that in the comments below and let me know what's up. School me. I want to get schooled. So if this isn't your body type, I guarantee you, your body type is coming because I've got more videos like this. So subscribe and don't miss a single video because I want you to look awesome. Awesome. All right, catch you on the next one.